Okay, so this is my small garden area. It's narrow down here and it widens out up there. I put a bucket up there for scale. That's your average five gallon bucket. This is the small little garden area I have. You can see I haven't tilled yet. I'm a little bit behind on things. I should have tilled much earlier. I got uh, some leaves left over from last year on there and some some compost chunks that didn't quite get composted. I'm going to till those in into the ground. And then I've got other things I'm going to be filling in the ground too, but that will come later. What I'm trying to accomplish here is to um, get a jump start on to uh, what they call back to Eden gardening style. Some call it no-till gardening. And I've got some things I'm going to add here to help ease my way into that. Um, this is a process that's going to take several years. You can't just take six or eight inches of wood chips and put it on your garden and uh, and go from there. I, I'm, I'm going to try to ease into it a little bit and add some uh, organic matter into the, into the dirt and kind of get that a, a jump start. The first thing I'm going to be tilling into the dirt is some um, mostly composted straw which is just going to be beautiful for what we got going here i've got another bag exactly exactly like this it's very heavy and then i've got two bags of uh, softwood pellets that's used for horse bedding it uh see if i can rip this open quick a handful. It looks like this. Just hardwood pellets. They should hold moisture. They should help keep the soil loose. Um, once they absorb moisture, they'll they'll expand and soften up. And I've got, like I said, two bags of that. And then I've got some softwood shavings. This is pine shavings. These are flake. You can also get, uh, I forget what they call it, but it's a finer, a finer cut of that. I'm going to be stirring a bunch of that into the soil as well. And then finally, I've got a bunch of leaves that are pretty finely chopped up. I run these through my, uh, my leaf blower or leaf vacuum. And they come out pretty pretty chopped up. I'm going to be mixing those in the dirt as well. And I think I think I'm going to add another layer of this after I get everything in the garden, everything tilled in, um, get my stuff planted. I'm going to probably be adding some of this um, over the top of the soil, just a layer of it, maybe not even a, a half inch or an inch or whatever. And then later in the year, I'll add a couple inches of wood chips. And we'll see what happens. I may, I may have to till again next year and then add more of this stuff as well to kind of get it going. And I know that some of you that are familiar with uh, no-till gardening and, and uh, back to Eden gardening are saying, well, if you're tilling, you're killing. And I understand that. Um, but again, like I say, I'm trying to jumpstart things and I think it's going to be necessary to till the first couple of years at least. But we'll see how things go um, and I will, uh, I'll show you my planting process at least for the tomatoes as well and some of the goodies I got from my tomato plants. Okay, so I've got all of my ingredients sprinkled out on top of the top of the garden. Be tilling it in a minute. I just wanted to give you a look at it. I used uh, one bag of the softwood pellets, spread them around. I used the whole bag of the pine shavings, spread those around. And then the black stuff that you see on top there is that wonderful straw compost. I've still got about that same amount again in another bag. And I think I'll be saving that for a later to add to the garden, for a layer to add to the garden later. 
Um, but this is what I got. And I, I should also add here that I'm not an expert. And this is kind of an experiment. And I may very well find that this didn't really work all that great. Or I may find that, that it works great and we'll continue trying to develop this back to Eden garden. Um, anyway, I'll get to chilling and then uh, give you a look later. While I'm tilling, let's take a minute or two and talk about what this uh, Back to Eden gardening is all about. Basically, it's um, trying to uh, get back to nature's way, God's way of uh, doing this. If you observe nature, you see uh, every year um, branches and leaves fall off trees onto the ground. Um, and in the spring, the growth, new growth starts, and in the fall, again, you got another layer of leaves and sticks and, and whatnot landing on the ground. And what happens is that the earth has this nice skin of layers of varying degrees of organic material and in various stages of decomposition. That's a nice protective skin over the earth, and it... Uh, continually and naturally feeds the soil beneath it and that's kind of what I'm trying to accomplish in my garden and that's the point of back to Eden gardening um, I need to use my garden and, and grow stuff in my garden while I'm getting to the uh, stage of where it's uh, self-sufficient and it's taking care of itself every year all I would need to do is just add more organic material more layers and there's no tilling, no watering, really shouldn't be any fertilizing. Um, but that's that's kind of what I'm attempting to do here is to just get a, a jump start and after a few years I should be at that point. If you want to know more about Back to Eden Gardening, just um, do a YouTube search for Back to Eden Gardening and you'll get more information than, than you could probably ever watch. Okay, so to pick up where we left off, um, I did end up getting some cow manure compost. I bought five 40 pound bags and I put four of those bags on the garden. And I also ended up, if you remember that barrel of shredded up leaves that I had, I ended up putting those on too and, and tilling those in. But this is what the soil looks like. Give you a bit of a closer look. And the reason I decided to put some compost in there is because because of the fact that I'm getting so much of the uh, carbon-based pine shavings and, and whatnot in the soil when that compost it's going to take nitrogen so I'm kind of aware of the fact that I need to be adding nitrogen so that there's enough nitrogen in the soil for that composition to start taking place and also for the plants that I'm planting. But that's what the soil looks like. Um, it is fairly loose. It tilled really nicely. Um, I think it's going to help hold moisture and keep looser than normal. One way to summarize this Back to Eden gardening method is just simply to say that you're gardening in your compost pile. And I think this scene here helps illustrate that that can and does work. And it's just as nature intended, really. What you're looking at here is my patio area. Uh, and I've I failed to clear up the leaves from last fall. And here they are still laying here. And what's under these leaves is concrete pavers. There, there's no soil. There's no dirt. It's just uh, a layer of leaves that fell last year. And we've already got weeds growing in, in that uh, semi-composted leaves. Um, and this is Back to Eden Gardening in, in a nutshell. Thanks for watching and listening.